Tesla up 19% year to day. Mark Lima, JMP Securities President, joins us from San Francisco. Mark, is that what capitulation looks like? Up 19% year to day. It's January 9th. <laughs> Well, it, it, uh, capitulation or, or, or a continual short squeeze. Uh, I mean, we w w went through 2019, and this was everybody's favorite short. And if you go back on the Twitter sphere and hear about drones flying over lots full of Teslas that'll never sell, those people are covering their stock 100% higher than it was at certain times in 2019. That's what a short squeeze looks like, and that's what a bullish uh, market looks like. And we really haven't seen. We've seen a grind higher, but this is kind of effervescence we haven't seen in a very long time. You know, Mark, a couple of months ago I sat on this show and I laughed. I said the pickup truck looked like a 10-year-old in 1980 trying to imagine what a car would look like in 2020. And here's the stock doubling in, what, three months. The question is why, Mark? What's behind it? Well, you have, you have great optimism. Again, I don't, I, the, the short squeeze part of it is only so much of it, but it can be a huge part of it because this was a he very heavily shorted stock. And when you get momentum behind a name, and we haven't talked about a momentum-driven market in a very, very long time. We had a lot of that in the 90s and leading into the 2008 correction. Um, but we have had a momentum-driven stock here, and things build on each other. And it's kind of the stock you have to own. Um, I'm not going to tell you at $500 that that's where you want to make your new bets. But I think a lot of people have taken fresh positions when the stock was heavily shorted and people are looking for companies. Once you saw those kind of delivery numbers that we saw through 2019, it was primed for a big ascent. I'm not sure it was primed for this ascent, but that's what we get when you have a combination of fundamentals as well as a short squeeze. Mark, I know these kinds of conversations put the backs up of people who sit here and say, you know, it's not 2008, it's not the late 90s into 2000. But the kind of excess is the momentum that you see in the tech space right now. Any parallels at all for you, Mark? Well, I think that was a much different market. I think today we have a, a, a bunch of companies with a whole host of, of opportunities and market share gains that we've seen. We've been talking about the cloud, you and I, Jonathan, for a very long time. Yeah. And yet that's really in its infancy, and we've seen some growth there. We've been talking about AI for a, a short time, and that's going to be a theme for the next decade. You're going to see a whole crop of IPOs in 2020. Um, I've been calling 2019 the IPOs that even my mother's heard of, and 2020 will be the IPOs you haven't heard of but are great companies. You're going to see a whole host of tech companies that go public and continue to redefine spaces, huge markets, and that's where the difference ends with the late 1990s because there were not huge markets ready to be defined. They're ready to be defined today, and I think that's what you're going to see in 2020 through the decade. So, Mark, let's wrap it up there, shall we? Last year you worked on many of those offerings, one of those, many of those well-known names that came to market. Talk to me about some of the names, the spaces, the areas of tech that you'll be looking at through 2020. You're going to continue to see, Jonathan, some names in SaaS software. You're going to see some marketplaces that are going to go public, big marketplaces. But you're going to see a continual uh, cloud-based computing and AI market. Um, there are still names, again, that we, you probably haven't heard of on the show that you're going to be talking about in the next 60 days. JMP, we've, we've heard from a half a dozen tech IPOs in the last three weeks that want to tap the public equity markets in the first six months. We're by no means the largest firm on Wall Street, but when, when we hear about six names that are going to try in the first half of this year, that by no means is the only um, supply. It's, you're going to hear some great names in 2020, and I think people are going to be very excited. Remember, we've forgotten some of these names already, Jonathan. Uber was one that we've been laughing about through the fourth quarter. Look what that stock's done in the last 90 days. The stock's up 30% almost in that time frame. That's a big story ahead for 2020 and beyond. And I think people have got to take a second look at some of those names because Datadog, CrowdStrike, et cetera, those are great companies that are going to continue to execute and gain market share through the year.